is is more cut than tut. I think it's a, it's a, it's I think our intuitive resilience, which and the word resilience is from the Latin word resilio, which means to spring back. I think that spring is internal, but sometimes we get caught in the in the in a, in a negative belief pattern that we actually somehow are deficient in our resilience. So I think it's about reconnecting people to that intuitive resilience, to that self belief, that capacity that's intuitive. But I think it can be taught strategically, and I think it should be taught strategically. The idea of your values, your strengths, your self-talk, how to manage stress. I think these are essential uh, skills. I sometimes ask the question, are we preparing young people for a life of tests or for the tests of life? And it's not about preparing the path for young people. It's about actually helping prepare young people for the path. And sometimes I think we can take away young people's resilience by trying to smooth the path too much. Now, COVID has right at that a little bit and young people have been tapping into that capacity in ways that I think hopefully surprise themselves as well as other people. I suppose uh, my generation, the generation behind me, uh, were guilty of being, of giving too much to their children and in a counterintuitive way disempowering them, rendering them soft. So it probably is a great time for instilling and growing resilience what do you think definitely and i think again some of the hidden benefits of this period has been young people being able to reconnect with their families sitting around the kitchen table and speaking you know we live in i call, we call it the tyranny of, of, of business you know this obsession we have with productivity you know and there's a power there's great power in a pause when you're living your life and fast forward. And we've actually been forced as a society to pause, to reflect what's important, you know, and many people, if you ask them what our key values are, it's a family. And yet we spend most of our time on the N7 or rushing here and rushing there. And now we can actually force to actually take a breath. And a lot of young people have been able to reconnect and families and actually take that moment to say, what is important and what's not important? And they're very important questions. So I suppose really, would you say that it's in Ireland since 2008 in particular that work was taking over and encroaching on the other uh, domains of life to the impoverishment of home life and building uh, connections in the home and getting to know children and getting to spend time with them and converse with them, etc. Instead, both parents, because of the past phase of pace of life and because of the demands of life, both parents were out working and the emphasis was on the material. What do you think? Well, we, we, we live in a very frenetic world, you know, as I say, a tyranny of busyness. And certainly the world has got faster. You know, the days, the months, the weeks, the years that pass by like, cat size and a motorway. And I think that has been to the detriment of family life and also personal life and that ability just to actually, be just to, 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 to stop for a moment and smell the roses. You know, there's a lovely line, what is this world of full of care? We have no time to stop and stare. And the last 10 years, we have had very little time to stop and stare. And we've done about 10 years of that in the last year. Mm -hmm.